Good afternoon everyone, Chef here, trust you're good, trust you're well, trust you're having a good start to the week and everything is going to plan. Um, casual attire, just been helping out an elderly lady with some gardening, which is fantastic. Good point of that is that I'm able to do that now, so I never mean to gloat, but what I choose to do when I say that is that if you follow your beliefs, follow what we teach, then you will have the freedom to do what you want and be able to help. So yeah, so hence gardening on to school. Now, what am I going to talk about today? Well, I think it's really relevant. Um, I completely get when people say, I can't do it. Um, I can't make a change. I have financial commitments. I have to bring X amount in. Um, I can't see myself ever doing anything because I just can't do it because I haven't got the support because I haven't got a network because what happens if I do that who can I fall upon yada 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 I completely understand because that was me how can I get out of this how am I going to get out of this am I ever going to see my way out of it my partner doesn't work full time she doesn't earn anywhere near as much as I do all the money falls on me everything's against my name on my name okay but what stops you from, even though that's your prevalent thought, what stops you working on what you wish, what you would like? And then in turn, as I've said time and time and time and time again, sorry, like attracts like. And you'll be thinking it. And that prevalent thought, or that thought of you working, will become more and more prevalent. And there'll be more and more emphasis and there'll be more and more energy put in towards it. And you will find, absolutely, you will find that what you wish, what you dream for, what you strive for, will come into your life through different sorts of avenues. And this is what is key. It's so easy to get caught up and lost in the I can't, I can't, I can't. Because you're a good person, because you have your loyalties, because you have your financial commitments, because you have your your beliefs that you are the hunter-gatherer, you go out and work, but you know what, I'd hate the alarm when it goes off at seven o'clock, I really hate my life, I hate my job, but you know what, I'm doing it for my children. Absolutely, applaud that. Now why don't you applaud that, then get caught up in the fact that you don't like what you're doing? Applaud yourself for saying, you know what, I'm bloody making a good go of this. And rather than get caught up in all the bad points through the day, which we know, which I know, you just say, okay, you find yourself time in the day, you know, and you say to yourself, in every day and in every way and in every moment, I am successful, I am confident, I am empowered, I am financially free, I am wealthy, I am healthy, I am in a great place. Now that might seem like balderdash at the time, but you keep saying it, and you keep saying it for these 41 days, and then it becomes a habit. And that habit attracts. And this is what you have to remember. You know, you can strive for a better place and a better you and a better relationship and a better job and, and financial freedom and, and better employment prospects and, and better health for those, for yourself or your loved ones. But you have to put the work in and you can't get caught up in the drama and all the motion because all you're doing is putting all that emotion into what you can't have. And you're so passionate about what you can't have that all you get back is what you can't have. Because you know, like attracts like. Your vibration goes out and it attracts a similar vibration, vibration even. Now you put a vibration of empowerment of positivity, of what you wish for, of what you deserve, of what you dream for, dare to dream. It's going to come to you, and I tell you, it works. Christ, it's worked for me. Absolutely worked for me, and I was that person. And yes, I had to go through a really bad place, and as I keep saying, had my mental break, break, health breakdown, and you know, and all the rest of it that went along with it. But that was the switch. I don't want you guys to have to get to those depths that I got to in order to have the switch and then realize that trying to get back to somewhere that, that isn't good for you or you haven't got the support or it is toxic for you, be it relationship, be it um, professionally, be it academically, you know, 
you don't have to go that far. So, just to wrap up, even if you're struggling, even if you're, even if you're, even if you're, you are in a place that is you're not comfortable with, you're not happy with. I understand, and the reason why you're doing that is for the right reasons. Because you're supporting, because you're honourable, because you're true, because you're loyal. That's absolutely fine. But just take it as that, and then go to the side and say, okay. I am confident, I am wealthy, I am healthy. And yes, they are just words, but the words are so powerful. Yeah, the I am is so tr powerful because all you've been saying before is, am I ever going to get out of here? Am I ever going to have a good relationship? Am I ever going to be wealthy? Am I asking yourself, am I? You're never going to get it. Turn it around to I am. And straight away, I am wealthy, I am in a fantastic relationship, I am abundant, I am fulfilled, I am calm. Okay, it's as quick as that, and it's as simple as that. But don't ever lose hope, and don't get caught up in the emotion, and make sure, even if you are being caught up in the emotion, you bloody well cancel that out. And you say, no, I am going to practice my affirmations, practice my positive image. image. Dare to dream. It's free. You know, this video is free to you. All this stuff is free. And work on yourself and you'll have an amazing day. Okay. I'm off to pick the kids up. Near enough three o'clock. Um, two years ago, if I was lucky, I'd have another six more hours of work after being in at half six. That's how it can change for you as it's changed for me. And as I say, I never mean to gloat, I only mean to encourage, okay? So thank you for all your likes and shares, and thank you for supporting me. Please comment, please subscribe, please put my name across to other people who might be in, in a situation where they need encouragement. And stay strong, stay believing, and remember, you've got to believe to succeed. Cheers now, bye.